Time now for our midweek check on sports. Let's start with cricket this evening. And not an ideal start for the West Indies on their tour of Australia, uh, on and off the field rather. Off the field, the Caribbean team was jolted by the news that Captain Chris Gale has to return to the Caribbean. Gale left down under today for his native Jamaica to be with his ailing mother who is in hospital. And he may miss the upcoming first test in Brisbane. On the field, Gale's presence was immediately missed at the start of their four-day warm-up match. The Caribbean side makes a slow start against club side Queensland. Ramnaresh Sarawan's half-century, the only bright spark, as the West Indies struggle on the opening day of that match up to 271. Sarawan stroking 73, while Shivnarine Chandapal and Dwayne Bravo getting starts, but not carrying on. Not much else for the Caribbean side. Queensland reached 43 without loss in reply. Play continues this evening. Back home with the Pirates Week winding down, it can't close without the annual 10K event. More than 100 runners are expected to go to hell and back Sunday morning, as we hear from race organizer, Coach Jerry Harper. We had over 100 last year, and uh, we already have visitors uh, confirmed. Our registration is, as always, on the Saturday prior to the run, but it will be at the Department of Sports office in Queensport from... Uh, Plantana out to the Devil's Hangout, Turnaround Point on Hell Road. The Devil will be there to spur people on to get back to Calico Jacks. If you have enough courage and you want to go to Hell and back this Sunday, race registration costs $25 for the 6.2 mile event for all ages. Again, there will be no race day registration. As you heard there from Coach Harper, registration will be done this Saturday at the Department of Sports office in the Queen's Court Plaza on West Bay Road. Or you can get the application form online, caymanactive.com. To see him fight next. Well, the whole world wants to see if I Mayweather. I mean, I want Mayweather. Manny Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, calling out unbeaten American Floyd Mayweather Jr. Saturday night after Pac-Man's destruction of Miguel Cotto. And according to reports today, negotiations have started between the two camps for the mega fight. Pacquiao's promoter, Bob Arum, said he will be trying to put the fight together. But Mayweather argued today that Arum doesn't want to put his prized fighter, Pacquiao, in the ring with him. We'll wait and see if that mega fight comes off sometime in 2010. And stay tuned for another edition of Let's Talk Sports tomorrow night on Cayman 27 at 7 p.m. The fourth edition of the sports magazine show kicks off with some more special stories. We hear the story of an unlikely marathoner who finishes the prestigious New York Marathon earlier this month. Elroy Bryan tells us about his track and field experience and how it shaped his future. And round two of my interview with Charles the Killer Whitaker, the second round just as fiery as the first by Whitaker, but he didn't score any knockdowns when he came face to face with me. So join me and Vanessa Hansen for these stories tomorrow night at 7 on K-Man 27.